Hi Scorpio, it's Elle. I'm back for another quick reading this evening or this afternoon. Before we get into it guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video. Like, comment, share, show your love and support. As always, please keep it positive. I am not doing personal readings anymore at this time. I will be doing uh, live mini readings at the end of the week, either Friday or Sat Sunday evening. Um, we'll keep that. We'll just hold it right there. All right, and so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, I am doing extended readings. Um, so, uh, or I will be starting extended readings again um, this coming week, but as of right now, I'm not doing personal readings. So you can catch me doing a live mini reading Friday and Saturday night with my live um, uh, second opinion guest reader who is a local tarot reader. Um, also, um, these are for readings, so any donations are much appreciated. If you'd like to donate any uh, anything, my um, cash app and Venmo information is in the description box below. If you donate, even if it's a dollar, your name goes into a drawing and you guys can receive um, $100 at the end of the month. So it's a little incentive to you. If you feel like donating, just know that your name goes into a drawing and the possibility of you winning $100 is there. So let's go ahead and get into the reading and see what's going on. And a big thank you to anybody that has donated. I love you guys and appreciate every single one of you. Um, and appreciate every single one of you for just showing up. You guys are truly, truly amazing. So some of you could be dealing with something that has to do with the month of September here. That could be significant here. Be aware of great pride. So somebody with a big ego here. Could be Virgo energy or just an energy of somebody that has, you know, a lot of pride here. Ego. Um, there could be something about the month of September that can be significant in regards to Whatever this energy is, okay, that you're dealing with, Scorpio, beware of this energy of you see me, look at me. I don't know why, but there's something significant here about Virgo energy or the month of September. Um, really step into, and we all have to check our ego, right? So maybe you have strong Virgo placements. If that's the case, maybe this message is for you. Um light-hearted carefree time the other messages I'm getting is to beware of great pride ego what is this energy dealings with a relationship or woman I was feeling like the energy of yeah it's like um having too much pride in the situation in regards to something maybe something could have happened between you and a feminine energy in the month of September involvement with the law excuse me <clears throat> some kind of communication all right because my throat just got really scratchy so there's some kind of communication here or there was some kind of involvement with the law Beware of great pride here in a situation that has to do with a feminine energy. A feminine energy was behind a situation where there was involvement with the law. Beware of your ego here in this situation, feeling like, um, I don't know, if you were wondering if there was a feminine behind something, there was. Uh, this woman could have dark hair, maybe not necessarily. This woman could also be a Virgo or just there's something significant about the month of September. I feel like this happened or there's something something was going on around September, September energy though. Spirit is saying really get into a lighthearted energy here, Scorpio. Stay lighthearted, have a carefree, fun time. It's getting nice out. All right, get outside and enjoy the weather. Um, Everybody's stepping outside, right? Money or property through inheritance, winning or windfall will be coming your way. So there also could be a situation here in regards to somebody could have had you tried to have you wrapped up in a situation. Maybe this person had a lot of ego and pride um, involved, tried to have you wrapped up or involved in the situation with the law. All right. But 
it was possibly trying to prevent you from getting some type of property through money and inheritance winning or windfall. Yeah, there's affairs with your family here that are coming out loud and clear for some of you guys. So yeah, there's a situation that had to do with family. Also, there was a situation where somebody had too much concern with your sexual matters, whether it was you or somebody else. I feel like it was somebody else in regards to you for whatever reason, Scorpio. It's your life, your story. If this story resonates with you. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Affairs for your family. Okay. For some of you, there's just, I'm just getting the energy. Star card energy. Scorpio. Um... The lovers. Interesting. Um, six of Wands. Protects against affirmities, brings success. All right. Think with the King of Cups, I feel like there's something restitution. You are being given something. Um, there's something that's been stolen from you or taken from you that you will be given back. You, it's like you're discovering, somebody's discovering the person responsible for taking something and there will be something given back. Yeah, here's the tower. It aids in transformation though. This is going to aid in some type of a transformation of your life. Uh, but it also warns of some type of disruption, right? So again, with the Queen of Pentacles, there's been somebody here who's been a little bit overbearing, controlling. This could be a mother figure. I'm picking up on with this Queen of Pentacles energy with a tower here. There's some kind of tower coming out. For some of you, it could have been legit a mother figure. Or a feminine energy with a King of Wands. Um, gives answers to those in doubt. With the King of Wands. So the truth is coming out. It's giving answers to those in doubt of the situation. So yeah, it's like again, ooh, September Virgo full moon energy. I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. All right. Beware of ego. Don't let your fucking ego get the best of you if you're pissed off, Scorpio. It came out in the last reading, September. It's like the tower. Things are coming to light. I did get a surprising message. This is in regard to truth. I was going to do more of a love reading, but whatever comes out, comes out, guys, right? So with the emperor here, again, Aries energy. It could be involving Aries, um, but there's also some type of or an Aries. This is somebody who also abuses their power. Um, who likes to control, is very controlling, who can be, right? Um, but this is also, you've been protected from some type of conspiracy coming out. That There was some type of energy where somebody had the ability to try to abuse some level of power. This is spirit helping calm anger with you this week or has. Um, interesting. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? The moon. Again, the moon card energy. So, yeah, things coming to light. Seven of Pentacles. I saw that. So, um, I see a lot of you stepping out of your comfort zone soon here with this energy. Okay, the masculine for my masculines. There's really this energy of stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, there could be some level of separation that might be uncomfortable for you. However, this resonates. Uh, but the moon card here, the unknown, all right? The, the, the date, the 18th, could be significant for someone or the 4th. Now, this is what, you know, for my masculine, some type of secret here um, involving... Yeah, it's like somebody, yeah, there's going to be a change in a cycle. There's somebody wanted you to step into a trap and surrender or something, and it, it did not work. Yeah, they were, they were creative, whoever this was. So, Scorpio, I feel like, you know, pay it no mind, whatever this is, because you're past it. Let's get into love. What messages do we have for love for Scorpio? Actually, let's do one of these just to clarify what this message is because Spirit wanted to come out for a reason, right? So, um, expecting something. Somebody's expecting something, okay? So, that's why this energy is here. Okay, uh-oh. All right, there's an ending here or a death, all right? Um, okay, so in the distant horizon here... Um,
there's a message coming in here about somebody not being able to move forward in a situation because of bad health. Um, I feel like this is somebody that you used to be connected with because courtship is in the past. There's something about children. You could have a child with this person. There's also a mature woman here showing up. Okay, message of concern. Again, damn. So some type of ending here. A mature woman um, could be in bad health or a masculine energy. It could be a woman that has a masculine energy. Okay. Permanent energy. Again, a strong Virgo energy coming out. Um, let's see. Five of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Taking a loss. Feeling restricted. Um, four, four. There's somebody, um, like with the Four of Wands here. It says the monster comes home, which is funny. This deck is like horror, right? But um, it's so it's a little silly, but the monster comes home. No pun intended. I feel like there's some kind of energy here. Yeah, you're getting justice in a situation. Now, there could have been somebody that was locked up and they're getting out, but there is still some type of separation, some type of uh, secret coming out, or this could have been like past tense. Okay, um, but anyway, justice in a situation that was unfair. Hermit again, Virgo energy with the Four of Cups. There's the element of surprise. This ugh, is almost like the same reading, okay, that I did before. Karma and then the Hierophant, Taurus energy. So we do have Archangel blowing the horn here. Here you see it with judgment, justice. Um, the Ace of Wands, new opportunities that you're committing yourself to, Scorpio, could even be a relationship moving to a higher level of commitment here, marriage even. But this is, uh, we've got Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Libra, um, Aries, Leo, Sag again. So... The world card, Scorpio, whatever. Here it is again. Um, you're kind of in this ultimate masculine energy, even if, because we've got the masculine here twice, confirmation. Um, so some of you, this is what's freeing you from a situation, standing in your power here. Um I'm hearing standing up for yourself here. Some of you, it could be towards an ex-lover or Gemini here. With the Two of Pentacles, again, this is um, really needing to stay balanced. Again, that's really been coming out for you guys. I kind of just feel like I'm repeating myself, but I guess this is a message that needs to come out. You need to stay balanced. It's like the monster comes home. Why am I getting this energy? The monster comes home, right? Like this energy of somebody who's like, ah, you know, I'm really trying to, to be, you know, Somebody I'm getting was lied to here in a situation. There's this energy of feeling like I was lied to about a situation. Maybe for some of you, moms, I'm getting like this weird energy confirmation. Somebody was doing something or saying something, communicating. Somebody was locked up. Somebody was communicating you about you confirmation again. And it was lying. They were lying to this person. Somebody could have had people trying to attack someone and it was all based on a lie. There's karma here in regards to whatever the situation is. So when the monster comes home again with the ace of wands here, there's a wand in somebody's hand. Somebody is going to be um, some kind of secrets coming out about the truth in a situation and karma judgment, Scorpio. gavel ace of cups so in a situation where there was a tower okay uh the ace of cups is there okay 
Um, this is brutal victory. So there's some kind of a situation here where the Ten of Five of Swords, where there's been a tower, negative energy, somebody being brutally just unfair and unjust in the situation in your life, um, or could have been here. And there's a situation here where you're being shown love and respect with the Ace of Cups here, and justice is being served in the situation. So a lot of you, there's a new relationship that you're also, okay, this came up in the last reading, a new relationship, starting a new relationship, falling in love, right? Um... Stay strong, Scorpio. Some of you could feel like, you know, you've been challenged by like the strongest creature alive kind of thing or whatever this is, this energy of, but at the same time, you're still this soft, loving, caring. You haven't lost the soft side of yourself. Like you didn't let whatever this was tear you down, break you down, okay? Um... Yeah, follow your heart, Scorpio. Again, Seven of Cups uh, is coming out for you, guys. Scorpio energy. A lot of romance. I feel like somebody really, really wants to. You have the King of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, masculine energy. Um, wants to show you just how well they can treat you, masculine or feminine energy. This is somebody that, you know, for my single Scorpios, it's somebody that wants to come in, yeah. You know, this is slow and steady wins the race. This is something that could have been moving slow or um, Virgo energy again with that, but um, also the cherry energy with cancer, right? So, um, but it looks like, you know, Nothing can stop whatever this is here, okay? The forward movement in this direction with you and someone, no one can come in between, it looks like. There's nothing that can stop this connection. These two people coming together. Hmm. The moon card again. All right, so something that you haven't seen is going to be revealed to you. All right, again, a lot of the same messages being repeated. The Queen of Swords energy. I feel like some of you might even be cutting some type of, you know, community out of your life in regards to, uh, you know, something conflicting with child, a child, um, something conflicting with just, um, you know, life in general, right? Um, there's three women specifically showing up in this community group energy. The King of Swords that had to do with a King of Swords energy for some reason. This is the drama. All right, so maybe this is what's coming out. Some secrets are coming out in regards to, I don't know how you're getting this information, yeah with the Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups about what you've walked away from from the past, whether the deception that you were protected from here with the Queen of Swords energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You have since then made some type of a cycle change for yourself because it says pick a fate, any fate. Um, and possibly because you are a parent here, okay? With the devil in reverse, a lot of you have let go or whoever I'm talking to has let go of negative, you know, um, uh, patterns, toxic patterns, um, whether it was low vibrational things, right? You know, uh, there's again, committing yourself to different things here that are more traditional, uh, types of relationships, um, uh, or just committing yourself fully to, you know, new opportunities, new, um, wanting success right wanting things to be successful committing yourself to this there is this energy of structure too with this masculine energy too so stay strong Scorpio whatever this reading uh whoever this reading was for it's because you know there's been interfering energy and spirit just wants you to know that you're on the right path okay I'm gonna end this reading and um until next time lots and love and light bye